Hello, hello, hello. So today we will be making red velvet cake. Hey, I'm not a baker. I, I really don't like to bake. But because I love red velvet cake so much, I had to learn how to do it. So, um, to get started, I'm going to show you some of the things you are going to be using. It's pure vanilla extract, salted, um, sweet and cream butter, cream cheese, which is, which is going to be for your um, frosting. And then we have buttermilk. We're going to use two eggs, all-purpose flour, sugar, and as you can see, your food coloring, you know, it's it's the holidays, so it's hard to find food coloring, so we end up getting this, the assorted box. Um, we're also going to be using bacon cocoa powder, okay? Um... That's about it. Oh, and your confectioner's sugar. So as you can see, I have different types of brands of everything. You don't have to use the same brand or everything. You know, it's what we can afford because, again, I am a single mother of three. So, you know, we're going to eat what we can afford to pay for, right? So I'll be right back. Show you the steps by step of making a red velvet cake. Oh, one more thing. Salt, salt. We need a little bit of salt as well. So we have all the ingredients out. So, all right guys, we right back. All right, so we have two of those. You know, we're cooking at home with Danielle Williams. So we're not professional. We don't have all these special um, bowls and spoons. So we're gonna use what we got, honey, because Huh. We're not millionaires over here. I'm a single mother of three plus one. Okay, so all right. So the reason why I'm having I'm I'm using two bowls because one bowl is going to be for my wet mix, and the other bowl is going to be for my dry mix. Hi, how you like that? So hold on one second. Oh, okay. So first we're gonna crack our egg, y'all. I don't have a special technique on cracking no egg. Just don't put no shells in your in your cake like I just did. Look at them. Just take it out of them with clean hands. Wash your hands. Don't forget about that. All right. So then we're just gonna get our handy dandy fork and we're gonna mix it up. You want to take your time with your cake. And we're taking our time. If you don't feel like making a real rubber cake, don't make it. You have to make it with love. Okay. Next, we're going to get our measuring cup. Next, we got to do one and a half cup of vegetable oil, which I didn't show you. This is one of the products we're going to need for the cake. So, one and a half cup of vegetable oil. That's one and a half cup of vegetable oil. Okay. And we're just going to pour it in that egg mixture. Right? We're gonna get our handy dandy fork again. We're just gonna mix it up. We're gonna use the electric mixture with I like to do stuff by hand first. You know. Next I'm gonna add a teaspoon of white vinegar. So this is my teaspoon, y'all. Just fill it up. That's all you need. After that, I'm going to add me some 
Prim Vanilla Extract. I just pour it on the little top right here. You know, I don't measure anything out. It's the best way I can measure. And next we're gonna add a cup and a half of buttermilk. Okay, we're about to add a cup and a half of buttermilk. I'm going to just mix all over the way. This is how it should look when you get through mixing it, okay? So, um, you can also go ahead and add your food coloring, whatever color you want to use. Today, we're doing red because it's a red velvet cake, but you know, you can do um, your red velvet cakes. You can do blue, green, whatever your theme is, but it's Christmas, y'all, so we're going to do red. So... So like I said before, it was so hard to find, you know, the regular size um, food color. So we end up getting the assorted ones, but it's all the same. Um, you could use, I'm gonna use three of these. Use three of these. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> so I have to open up this other box. Okay. The motor on the blender is very loud, so he'll just make sure you mix it well. So this is two cups. So I'm getting doing two cups and a half of flour. Some people use that cake mix. I don't. So you want half a cup? I'm using Fillsbury's Best All-Purpose Flour. It's already pre-shifted, so we don't have to worry about shifting our flour. So if anyone was wondering why she didn't shift our flour, we don't have to. It's already done for us. So that's a plus. Next, we're going to add to our mix is a teaspoon of Bacon soda. Okay, so a teaspoon of baking soda. You know, the more baking soda, if you put too much, it's fine. It's just going to rise up high. That's it. So that's all that's, that's for to help rise your, your cake. And then we're going to use a teaspoon of cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder for baking. And next we're going to put two cups of, adjust it a little bit of my liking, of my taste. 
and I thought it tasted better with two cups of sugar. I did the same thing with the, the buttermilk actually for the original recipe that I was given. It actually calls for um, a cup of buttermilk, but I found it being um, having more moist in it of using a cup and a half. So if you have a recipe online and you see only using a cup of buttermilk, I use a cup and a half. I, I think it's better. Instead of a, a, a cup and a half of sugar, I use two cups of sugar. Okay? So, we're just going to mix this in. Oh, we have to add our salt. We need a teaspoon of salt as well. Listen, y'all, I don't, I don't want to put all the, I'm just going to put maybe half a teaspoon of salt from this spoon because it's, it's bigger than a teaspoon. Yeah. Yeah, I know that what happen when you don't have the correct um, items to use to measure, but, you know, we're going to use what's in the house, right? And we're going to try to measure it out best of our knowledge right and as i stir this mixture up it looked like to me i want to add a little bit more of the cocoa to it so i'm just going to add a little more cocoa okay okay that looked much better now we're going to add our mixture in our wet mixture in very slowly in our bowl Pour some on a little more. If we're doing a hand mixture, you know, we got to stir the bowl up ourselves. We're going to pour a little more. And then you see it's still some on the edge of the bowl, right? So here we go again my mixture is very loud so we're just going to continue to blend this very well until it's lumped by the way we're doing a three layer cake okay guys so i forgot to tell y'all that at the beginning it's going to be a three-layer we're doing a three-layer cake today but you can also do cupcakes with this same batter all right so i'm just going to just spray my pans with my pam bacon made with flour it's 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 a good spray and keep your cakes from sticking so i'm just adding i'm just spraying my pans my three round pans with um perfect bacon Ooh, i sprayed myself y'all so <laughs> i'm running low but you're just gonna spray all around your pans and if you don't have enough spray you can just get a little bit of um butter and flour that's all so that's what it looked like i'm gonna be doing <laughs> listen y'all i ran out of my spray so guess what butter it is just gonna go around your pan honey and 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 and, and, and it should work i'm not gonna say it should it will work just that's all you need you ain't got to buy no, spend no money and buy no pound spray. It's good, you know. Pound spray good to have though. If you don't want to do this here, but that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're doing. We don't want our cake to be sticking. Okay. All right. Be right back. All right. I'm not the best at this, but we're gonna see how this go. So we're just gonna pour some in each pan like this so pour some more in this pan here we're gonna try to make it even as much as we can 
unless if not your cake gonna be doing a walk with it leaning to the left and leaning to the right and <laughs> i'm like i say i'm not professional we're cooking at danielle's in danielle's kitchen y'all so hey if it's leaning oh well it is what it is but it's gonna be it's gonna be good though it's gonna be so good my favorite cake. I had to learn how to make it. I made this cake every day until I learned and brought a cake to work every day until they said it was good. So, so we're ready to pour our, pour our batter into our cake pans. You're going to set your oven at 350 and let it cook for about 20, 20, 20, 45 minutes. Um, the way you want to check and see if it's done, you're just going to stick a cute, um, toothpick in. If the toothpick come out clean, you all set and good and ready to go. So I'm about to place these bad boys in the oven. And I Hey, like I said before, I'm not the best, but it's going to be great. It might be wobbling mm -hmm. a little bit. We will see. Um... Just to let you know, I don't think I said at the beginning... Make sure your your butter is sweet and cream butter and make sure it's room temperature. Same thing with the buttermilk when you're doing your cake. You want to make sure your buttermilk and your eggs is at room temperature, okay? So don't forget, room temperature is the key to a red velvet cake or cupcakes. All right, I'm just going to continue cleaning up my mess and set up for my next food item that's that i'm going to be cooking all right so we're going to add our whole block of clean cream cheese which should be room temperature and then we're going to add a whole block of um salted sweet creamy butter which should be room temperature and then we're going to add our pure vanilla extract I always pour it in the top like this. Okay. And then we're just gonna lay it up together. Right? Next we're gonna add <clears throat> so I'm doing a three layer cake. So I'm gonna use half of this bag. But I have some, that, so I'm pouring half of this bag in them. I had some of this left in there, so I use that. And I'm gonna add a little less than a half since I already used the rest of what was in that package right there. Okay. Now y'all know, I don't measure, don't, don't really measure like I should, so. This is how I call myself measuring. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go ahead, put it in on one, two on one, and just mix. Do it really fast because if not, you'll have sugar flying everywhere, and you'll we'll have to clean it up. So it's on one. Now you see it's. it's that noise slowing down. So, so you're gonna put the speeder up high. You're gonna go um, lift up a little higher. And while I'm looking at this, it looks like I can add a little bit more um, sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and add me some more sugar. My daughter said it looks thick. It's not thick enough for me. So I'm gonna add a little more. I'm going to start listening to my own Look at that, it's flying everywhere. And then again, we can get a spoon. We'll get the spoon and we kind of go. So here I'm just using my spoon to try to get everything I can get from the side. So we're just going to continue to blend the rest of it until it continue, until it's blended completely. 
As you can see, I've taken the cakes out of the oven. Once they cool, I will be icing the cakes. And here's the finished product. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks.